Hey everyone, this is Jim Ross with Three Mile Storage Management. Do another episode of Three Minutes or Three Mile here. Today we're going to talk about audits. Short and sweet, but very effective. Uh, again, I always come up with these topics as they <laughs> kind of come up in day to day life. And uh, yesterday we had a little uh, networking get together for some of the guys in self storage here in Utah. It was really nice. I haven't done that in a very long time. So it was nice that we all kind of got together and uh, have a lunch and, and chat. And of course, as self storage guys do, you know, we all start talking, you know, horror stories, <laughs> things that we go through. And this one guy was sitting next to, uh, won't mention names, but uh, he's like, yeah, took over this one site and the owner previously had uh, a manager company running it. He took it back over and self-managed, did it for quite some time and couldn't figure out why, you know, things were going in the wrong direction. He brought me in and he's like, first thing I did, he owns, do an audit. And oh, lo and behold, <laughs> found out the manager was stealing and it was like over $200,000 that uh, she had taken. And it's like, you might be shocked by that, but seriously, I've come across that with some consulting ones I've done or sites I've taken over in management. A lot of other people have similar stories for stuff like that. And it just makes me shake my head because it's very easily avoidable. Okay. I'm just going to give you two quick things here that you can do right now to at least see any red flags <laughs> of what's going on. Okay. Uh, I don't care if you're self-managed, you do it yourself, or you have another property manager company doing it. Do this yourself just so you can make sure and see if there's any red flags going on. Okay. Two simple things. First thing is you got a software, hopefully you have a, a PMS software for your store site, run a, what's called like a rent variance report or a rent exceptions report just to see what's up. You know, if there's, here's your standard rate and these people are getting a huge discount. And I can't tell you how many times I've, I've seen where, oh, we do, you know, half off two months kind of a thing special. A year later, they're still getting that same special. Oh, I don't know how I didn't catch that. You know, you're just giving away free money. I'm not saying there's any malicious effort behind that. Sometimes it's an honest mistake. But you pull those reports to find that out. Uh, go through that. And the second one that's probably more effective, that's how this other guy <laughs> found out what was going on, is just simply pulling a walkthrough report. Seriously, when was the last time you had a, another set of eyes, not just the manager, not just the boots on the ground, but another person going through and doing a simple walkthrough report? I'm just talking about unit 300. It shows rented on the walkthrough report. Look at the unit. There's a rented lock on there. It's customer lock. Cool. Next, 301. It shows vacant on the on the report. There's a customer lock on there. Hmm, that's not right. Things like that. Well, in this one case, there was like 50 units that were <laughs> vacant in the in the software, but had customer locks on there, and there was you know under the table deals going on. For a very long time but it's something that's very easily discoverable <laughs> if you're just doing a walkthrough report so there's my two action items for the day okay pull over at variance report do a walkthrough and just just see what's up and i'll do more of these uh for these audits there's there's a lot you can look at a lot of reports a lot of specific things you can look at that can make a big difference in your bottom line so i figured that was a good one to start with because man it's it can be shocking sometimes <laughs> <laughs> on what you find out. So, all right, I'll keep these coming. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you later, guys. Uh, if I can be of any help when it comes to this kind of stuff, you know, maybe doing a, uh, uh, an audit, cool. You know, go to 3 milestorage.com. You'll see a time that you can uh, book a time with me. Hey, we'll look at some reports together. So, all right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.